here. I just did her mouth. Oh my god! Oh my god! Come inside. Hello, hello. Hi, how are ya? Bring it in. Yes. I'm Markian. Exotica Erotica. Yes. Exotica. I'm the queen of the OC, honey. Today we are doing a transformation. I'm excited, honestly. I'm kind of nervous. You're turning red, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Our Patreon members have suggested that I turn into a drag queen. If you guys want to decide what we do in our next video, our Patreon link is right here. So first things first, so this is a wig cap, this is just, put this on your head. Oh wow. And it's gonna hold all your hair back, so. You go for it, you go for it. Oh, you have a big head. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna pull your hair. Nah, it's all good. Bam, there it is. Okay, so first, we're gonna moisturize. Wow. Because I'm that kind of queen. Feels like a skincare routine so far. Well, yeah, first you gotta start off with some skincare, mm -hmm. and then you get into the makeup after. What is drag? Like, how would you describe it to someone who doesn't know anything about it? When I describe it to somebody who's never done drag or that doesn't know anything about drag queens, it's a person who's just larger than life. That's kind of what the whole point of drag is, is to exaggerate and to be over the top and to entertain, you know? It's, it's a whole aspect of entertainment that a lot of people don't know, you know? And drag queens have been around for a very long time. Back in Shakespeare times, they used to Oh, really? uh, the, the term drag comes from like the skirts dragging, oh, the dress is dragging. So, so now I'm gonna cover his eyebrows. Oh, yeah, this is really? You cover your eyebrows? Yeah, you have to block out your eyebrows. What's wrong with my eyebrows? It's a man eyebrow. Okay. Let's get up in here. Did your boyfriend put your makeup on? No, I do my makeup and I make my own costumes and hair and everything. He usually just goes around and helps me carry my bags. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's awesome. While that dries, I'm gonna do some makeup already. Just scoop some foundation out, put it right on there, and I'm gonna blend it out. You scared? It's scary because I have no idea what I look like right now. Yeah, What's it's gonna going be a on? surprise. So I'm gonna start right here, actually, on the cheeks. Yeah. Yeah, and then this is called beating the face. Uh huh. Drag queens do this, and that's what we're known for: is to beat our mug. Who are typically drag queens? Typically, it's gay males. Uh -huh. But there is uh, straight people that do it. There are straight guys that do drag. So when you're not in drag, who are you? You won't even recognize me because I'm just a regular guy. I'm just a regular person. I'm not like a shy person, but when I'm exotic, I, I definitely like come out. Really? I'm so you like your personality changes? Yes, like I built a persona that's kind of like who takes over once I'm dressed up, you know? Wow. I wouldn't even know what that feels like to just transform into a different human almost. Yeah, it's weird, but it, that's the good thing about drag is that you could, you know, do just about anything you want. Is it like a profession? Yeah, for me it's my uh, career, 100% I do drag full time. I uh, performed at the Hollywood Palladium just mm -hmm. a few months ago. So I've been blessed to be able to do a lot of things that a lot of queens don't really get to do. And how do you identify when you're out of drag? Uh, I identify as a gay male, yeah. When you're in drag, are you a he, a she? When I'm in drag, I tend to go as a she. Yeah. She. And that's standard with most? With most drag queens, yeah. But there's a lot of queens nowadays that are like gender fluid, so they go by they, them. Mm. Caitlin, what do I look like right now? A bird. You look like a yeah. bird? <laughs> I shaved for this, so it's a big deal. You did good, you did good. I can feel the makeup on my face. Now you can feel it, yeah. This is where it gets crazy. <laughs> How would you describe the drag community? Like three words. <laughs> three words is not enough. <laughs> the community is awesome. I love like my community. There's a lot of different communities though. It's like the punk community, the pageant system, the club scene, theater queens, you know. Everybody has like their little corner. But yeah, it's so hard to just explain the community with three words. No. I just... There's no way. There's, I would say drama, just drama. That's, <laughs> that takes up all three. Right now I'm just setting on this foundation that I put on. Woo! Did you bring makeup removals by the way? Yes, I did bring okay, makeup good. removals because I knew you were gonna want to. <laughs> so I'm gonna start contouring right now. Oh, you're gonna be pretty. Really? Yeah. This is where my art skills come in handy. Yeah. So tell yeah. me about what your talents are. So I'm known as a dancing queen, but I can also lip sync bounce down. What pressure do you face being a performer? No matter what's going on in your life, you have to put it aside and entertain. 
Exotica takes over and you know, the money has to be made. I still have no idea what I look like. Right now you just look like a clown, but okay. soon you'll get to the pretty level. Oh, okay. Tell me about RuPaul. He's been the one leading the forefront for drag since the 90s, like, like late 80s. He mainstream drag pretty much. Just when you thought there was enough powder, there's not. <laughs> Was there a drag queen who inspired you to become one? Yes. Okay. So when I first started doing drag, my biggest inspiration was a queen from Brazil. Her wow. name is Stripperella. <laughs> <laughs> she's still doing it. She's a trans woman now. And she's uh, like the hair flipping queen of Brazil. This is some more white for your crease. Is this like paint? It's like, for clowns, yeah, it's clown white. Oh, okay. But that's what a drag queen is, it's a pretty clown. That's what I call myself. Yeah. I'm a pretty clown. What's the overlap between transgenders and the drag community? Okay, that's a very good question. The difference between a drag queen and a trans woman is pretty much the aspect of the entertainment. You know, drag is just for entertainment. You put it on and you take it off. If you want to be a woman all the time, then that's when you are a, you're a transgendered woman. You know, you want to transition eventually or whatever. So in that case, most drag queens who are guys don't want to be like a girl. No. And I do see people that used to know me from high school, they'll be like, wait, you're not a woman? Mm. And I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so yeah, I get it. That's what this video is for. Yeah. yeah. To educate to people. To educate you. To learn about this whole community. Yes. Okay, this is the danger zone. Eyeliner. Uh -oh. what, why is it dangerous? Because if you open your eye, it'll get everywhere. So don't just move. Just don't don't move. Close okay. your eyes. Close my eyes. And leave it closed. I'll tell you when you can open it. So with drag, you always pull everything up. Some black eyeshadow. Now I'm actually kind of nervous. I don't know what to expect. Are eyes still closed? No, you can, you can open them. Oh. Yeah, yes. rebirthed. How expensive is like the makeup that you need? When I go buy makeup, I can spend at least like $300 every time I go. And how often are you going? Like every two months. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How should I feel right now? Pretty. Oh, so we're at this pretty yeah. stage. Oh, it's I'm lipstick gonna, time. Um, yes, lipstick time for sure. So I'm using some lashes that my friend Wilhelmina Caviar, she's a drag queen, she makes them. Oh my god. <laughs> These are huge. Uh, you're, you're gonna match my lashes because I'm wearing the Yours same ones. huge too. Drag has is, is become bigger, but at the same time there's like, the, what's the negative side like? Then we get a lot of homophobia and then there's a lot of attacks on gay people. Yeah. It's scary, you know, but it's just something that comes with the, with the job, you know. Oh yeah. That's it. Yep. You tell me when I can open my eyes. You can open your eyes now. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Well, yeah. I can see the, the top of my peripheral vision. Yeah, you can see them a little bit. But then, but then it'll go away. You'll yeah. like, you'll yeah. see them, but then you won't see them. Yeah. If that makes sense. Now let's just do a little uh, lip gloss. Yeah. We'll do some pink. You know, we like to be. Mm. You can smudge it. Mm -hmm. it smells good. What's the most annoying things that people say, or like things that people say that? Without, with not bad intentions, but they're just not educated enough. Um, yeah, like they'll call us trans, which is not like offensive, but it's not the truth. I think that's mm -hmm. the main perception. The, the main the perception that people have is that they think we're trying to be women, but we're not. You know, it's just mm -hmm. an art form. What would you say to people who, you know, are hateful or like have negative opinions? Be happy. If you're not happy with your own life, then you'll have to butt into other people's lives. And I'm praying for you, baby. <laughs> that's yeah. it. You know, totally. the shirt's coming off. <laughs> serious. There you go. Okay, back on. I'm putting the wig on after I've yes. taken my shirt off. This is a big wig. This is. I like big hair. <laughs> She's ready. Where's the fur? Oh, my heart is beating really fast right now. And I need this fur. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> she is. Oh boy. Ooh, here we go. We're here. I just did her mouth. Yes! What? No way! Whoa! Yes! 
<laughs> face ID isn't recognizing me. Yeah, no, that, that happens, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> This is mind blowing. It is, I love it. You're officially a queen. Whoa. That could be your name, Mar Queen. <laughs> Mar Queen. <laughs> <laughs> the there we go, queen. yes. Mar Queen Erotica. <laughs> there we go. Here we have to add in the second We have to, to <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see how they let's see how they react. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've transformed. <laughs> I've transformed, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to say, a message to the world about drag queens and how we should, I don't know, feel about it? Um, I think everybody should experience drag a few times. Maybe not doing it if you don't want to do it, but just come out to a show and support the girls. Uh, even parents now that are bringing their kids to the show, I think that's amazing to get them exposed to different types of people out there. That's, that's what it's about. Yeah. And we're all humans. And for the kids, day. honey. Exactly. For the kids, <laughs> baby. We have a, a small small gift for you. This oh my God. is not nearly as exotic as your costumes, but I love it. It's a smile shirt to keep being positive. Oh, for yes. Life, for the world. For you. I love it. Thank you so much. No problem. Well, I hope everyone watching this enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to decide what crazy adventure we do next or what kind of person we bring onto the show, uh, subscribe to our Patreon. The link is right here. You have access to our next videos and leading that. And you can get a smile shirt. So keep smiling and we'll see you in the next video.